Welcome to the Round Barn Farm. I'm Robin. This is Elaine. We're glad you're here. Come on in. I'd like to tell you a little bit about this house. The plan for this house was published in 1861 by an architect named Samuel Sloan. This house was built in 2002. So when you drove up the driveway, you thought, well, sweetie, for an old place that doesn't look too bad, that's exactly what we wanted you to think. This is our guest living room. It's a nice sociable place to be. There are books and games for the people to enjoy. We always have the cookie plate out. There's a puzzle on the puzzle table. We have a Packard piano. If you have piano music, bring it along. In the winter, we light the fireplace so you can warm up by the fire, too. Uh, this room has some farm history that we like to share. Our table is 12 feet long, doesn't have a leaf in it. It was made with wood from a black walnut tree we needed to take down to make room for our house. It's seen a lot of good breakfast. Most of the limestone blocks in this fireplace were foundation stones underneath the old 1800s farmhouse that used to stand on this same site. And our big hutch, which we found in Stillwater, was probably carved in Bavaria around 1850 love to tell people about it. This is Anna's suite. Anna was my grandmother, my mother's mother, and this room is done in her favorite colors, which were the soft lilacs and lavenders. Grandmother did tons of crochet work, and this room features a lot of that crochet work. The stencil on the wall is one of my grandpa's patterns. He was a house painter and stenciler 100 years ago in Wisconsin and used this stencil in their living room and dining room. I feel very at home in Anna's suite. You're on the third level, up in the attic of our bed and breakfast now in the hearts and flowers room. Everything in the hearts and flowers room is hearts and flowers, and the biggest heart is the jacuzzi tub. You get a king-size bed in the hearts and flowers room, Wonderful third story views and a gas fireplace to enjoy in the winter months. Everything in the willow room should make you feel like you're in the park under the willow tree. You get all this 1887 from England William Morris Willow Branch wallpaper. You get a park lamp. You get a willow swing that you can really swing on. You get a two person shaped couch in front of your fireplace. And at the east end of the willow suite, you have a king size bed with a bent little headboard tucked in the eyebrow window cove. The bath in the willow suite was our only bathroom without a window to the outside of the house. So we created a cottage garden window to the inside of the house. And as you can see, the willow suite got one of our antique dry sinks. This is our Dammon Round Barn. We are so lucky to have this piece of property with this wonderful old barn on it. This barn was built as a dairy barn back in 1914. Most of these round barns were built between 1880 and 1920. There are less than 40 out of about 300 left in Minnesota. Come on in. As we come to the middle, I want you to look up into this magnificent wooden cathedral. The barn's about 60 feet high and about 60 feet wide. This is the milking parlor floor, and the silo used to be in the middle of the barn. We went up right through this hole, and everything worked in concentric circles around the silo. We make the round barn available June through September for events. Um, it holds 150 people. Most of the events we do are weddings, but we have done some family reunions, and yes, you can have a square dance in a round barn. We do hope that you've enjoyed this little tour of our bed and breakfast and barn. We'd like to see you real soon. Don't forget to bring your sweetheart and your pajamas. Bye.